Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come, ye, come, ye to Bethlehem. Hi, everyone. It's Jellica here from a prettyfix.com, and welcome to my first Christmas decorate with me video for the year. I'm really excited to be sharing with you all of my decorating and DIYs for the holidays. So you're going to want to watch for these videos on the channel in the next uh, several days and a uh, couple weeks. In today's video, I'm sharing how I decorated my living room and dining room areas. But first, um, there are actually a couple of additions to our living room. As you see here, we actually replaced our old IKEA Actor couches with a couple of new sofas from article.com and we are super, super happy with these. I really love how they look. They really did update our space and it really desperately needed it. Um, I did share a uh, review of these two sofas um, on my blog and I'll leave a link in the description box below if you wanna check those out. But I'm really happy with how the two sofas look and they came just in time for the holidays. So. Merry Christmas to us. Um, so the first thing that, um, of course, that I started off with was by putting up this tree. It was actually a find from Wayfair and I'm really quite happy with it. Um, I was looking for a slim tree, something that was realistic, um, that was moldable and flexible, and most especially, I needed it to fill in this space in the corner so it needed to be a slim tree but I still wanted it to have a kind of fluffy look to it and um, so I really really did love the look of this it's slim it's the perfect size um, my husband says he misses a big a ginormous fluffy tree and maybe in the future I might see if I can find one that's a little bit bigger but for now I really love the look of it it is so realistic um, it looks like something that just was plucked out of nature and I'm very, very happy with it. Um, so the color theme and the color scheme of the year is black, white, and um, with a little bit of maybe uh, some gold and uh, blinginess to our tree. But the black, white theme is what you'll see repeated throughout our living room and dining room space and the rest of the house. That in addition to green, lots of greenery, I really stuck to a very natural color scheme and I wanted that reflected all throughout my house. And you'll see that with all of the ornament selections and um, decor selections all throughout my living room and dining room space. This adorable Scandi inspired reindeer ornament is a dollar store DIY that I made and I um, really love how it turned out as well as this honeycomb ornament I made as well. I'll be sharing the DIYs with you guys very, very soon. Um, but suffice it to say, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Now, because I don't own a proper tree skirt, I typically use faux fur rugs and I really like the way they look. Because I'm using a black and white scheme this year, keeping things a bit moodier, I just put on a dark throw blanket and um, called it a day. And the faux fur rugs just create some dimension. Now for our coffee table this year, um, I'm layering it up pretty similarly to what I did for our fall um, decor scheme and keeping thing, things kind of moody, keeping the elements more natural. I'm adding this ginormous pine cone that I've had for a while now. I actually have two of them and I really love the way it looks and it really speaks to the natural theme that I'm sticking to. I'm also using these dollar store candle holders that I typically use for storing my crafts. I'm just adding a bit of um, sand at the bottom just to protect them um, against any um, wax that drips down because I will be reusing them later on. Um, I also have some corning ware there that's empty and I'm going to be filling it up with nuts and you'll see that at the end when I show you sort of the, the full results of my um, living room and uh, dining room. 
And so for our new sofas, which I'm so excited about, I absolutely love. Um, I'm decorating them as well. Just adding a little bit of warmth, a little bit of a luxurious feeling, a little bit, bit of the holidays, but nothing too over the top. I really want it to kind of warm up the space and, um, and add a little bit of uh, texture but without it feeling overly done up, I don't want my Christmas decor to be super imposed on top of my normal decor. I just want it to feel cozier and holiday appropriate. Now above the sofa, we've got you know this giant um, set of windows. And um, so what I decided to do this year is to add a 3M hook and a full wreath that I've had for a couple of seasons now, not adorn it, keep it really simple, let the natural elements speak, and I'm really quite happy with how that turned out. Um, and on the other side of the living room where we have our two armchairs, I'm just adding a little bit of greenery to this um, vase and calling it a day. Again, I want to keep things simple and I want the focus to be on natural elements, greenery, pine cones, and that kind of thing. Um, a couple of other surfaces as well. I typically add um, just a couple of little items just to keep it very holiday appropriate, but nothing too over the top. And here I am in the dining room, um, just setting up our um, centerpiece. I found that the greenery was flopping over quite a bit, so I just added a small mason jar in the middle just to kind of corral the items a bit and added some an elastic band around sort of the main pieces so they didn't become unruly. And I find that that can help to um, corral the items so that, you know, if you're, if the top of your vase opening is a bit bigger than um, you know is required to kind of contain some of your greenery or florals then sometimes just putting in a smaller vase under inside or a small jar that can kind of contain things and keep your greenery um, upright and so that's what I did here as well I wanted to add just a few other little pieces next to it I've got a couple of bowls that I just happen to have with some pine cones and I just stuck a few pieces of greenery. All of this is faux, by the way, well, except for the pine cones, of course. But, um, and I, I tend to choose faux and synthetic greenery, mainly because we do have a couple of um, cute little critter kitties. And, um, you know, we just wanna make sure that if they're chewing on anything that it's uh, not poisonous. This is also another DIY that I am so, so pleased with. I'll be sharing this um, on, uh, on the channel in a few days, how I made it, but it just went very well with our space. And again, those, that's a dollar store um, DIY. And in behind our dining room table, I just added one simple element, that ginormous pine cone. Yes, I own two of them. Um, they were just finds at uh, HomeSense Canada um, a few years back, in fact. I haven't seen any since, um, but, are, but I've kept them because I do, do love the look. Um, typically, I would have them hanging up, which is why there's a piece of twine um, attached to the top. That's something that I had added. And I thought it would be useful here. I thought, well, maybe I'll just hang it from the middle portion, but I decided instead I would just lean it against the cloche and uh, I preferred that look. So here is the final look, the final uh, reveal of our living room and dining room all decked out for Christmas. These gift boxes are actually from the dollar store, if you can believe it. They are so beautiful and they were just perfect for our space. The only thing I changed out were the ribbons. These were ribbons that I owned. And this is the tree all decked out um, with all of our ornaments and some of the DIYs that I created, including um, the reindeer and any of the honeycomb ornaments that you see on the tree. Those are all ones that, uh, that I've created and I'll be sharing um, with you guys very, very soon. Sing choirs of 
So here is that Corning ware all filled up with walnuts and an old fashioned uh, nutcracker. And I just love the way um, food can act as decor. I think it just works really well in this natural tablescape. Glory to God in the highest Come let us adore Him Come let us adore Him Come let us adore Him Christ Now I've had this gallery wall up for quite a while now and some of you uh, who have been following the blog probably recognize it. I'll leave a link in the description box below on how I DIY this using very affordable prints and frames. One of my, if I could call it a signature look, um, is to add a really chunky throw over one of the dining room chairs. Uh, I know some people have commented on that and I uh, really love it and I do too. I just love how um, it adds an extra bit of warmth and also just brings in some of the other colors from around um, the surrounding area. And here is that ginormous pine cone leaning just to the right in this cloche. I think it's just the perfect little um, touch of nature and touch of the season um, without being again too over the top and I also added one more wreath over here um, uh, where our sliding doors are and just called it a day Well, I really hope that you enjoyed today's Christmas Decorate With Me video. There are more crafts and decorating inspiration videos coming so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next video